Hello Falcon users! On the last video, we have successfully installed Falcon Framework. And as a proof, you can see that on my local host, it is already enabled. Now, our goal for today is to create our very first project using Falcon DevTools Master. Falcon DevTools Master is Falcon's own collection of useful tools or scripts to generate skeleton code. So instead of doing it manually, doing your folders and files one by one, we'll just use a simple command from Falcon's own scripts to generate the whole project skeleton. In order to do that, we need to download Falcon DevTools Master. So we need to go to Google, google.com, then search for Falcon. Dev Tools Master. If you have seen this github.com slash falcon and the very first link, you need to click it. Please click GitHub. Now, since we are on GitHub, look for the button clone or download and click the download zip. After you downloaded it, you can close the page and go to your documents, go to your downloads page and find your Falcon DevTools master zip. This is it. So next thing you need to do is unzip the Falcon DevTools master to your local disk C. Extract files, click local disk C, hit OK, select yes. As you can see, I have overwritten the files because I have installed it earlier. Now, we're going to drive C to check if there's the uh, Falcon DevTools Master. He here it is. Now, open your Falcon DevTools Master. Click the address bar and right click and copy the Falcon DevTools Master location. After that, you can close the folder and you need to go to your start bot button and right click on computer properties then you need to click advanced settings you close this one as you can see there's environment variables you need to click this this environment variables now at the very bottom you can see system variables please search for path this one after you have found path click edit now, at the very end, you need to paste the address. As you can see, I, al I already made it. So, see, Falcon DevTools Master, you just need to do it like this. Uh, paste, then add the semicolon, if it doesn't exist. Now, if it already exists, uh, no problem. But if it's your first time to install Falcon DevTools Master, you need to add the entire address and add a semicolon like this one exactly like this and click OK OK and OK now to check if it's already installed you need to open a CMG or command prompt you need to type Falcon to check if it's already installed now it's already installed you can choose this command to create a new project now, in order to do that, we need to navigate to our htdocs folder of our XAMPP or of, or of our local host. To do that, you need to type cd c colon slash XAMPP htdocs. There we go. Now, to create a new project, you need to type falcon again. Then create dash project space and the name of your folder or the project you're going to create I've told you that we're going to create Falcon Dev this one we're going to create a project named Falcon Dev so I'm going to use Falcon Dev so I'm going to type in Falcon underscore Dev and hit enter now you can see that it's successful I'm just going to say sorry because I didn't explain the step to three and four, but you could you could just read it and apply it on. 
So in order to install it successfully, you need just to follow the steps. Uh, download Falcon Dev Tools Master from GitHub or you can Google it. Add environment variables, the address to the path you see and that you check as we have as what we have done, then create a new project named Falcon Dev or whatever project name you, you, you want. And finally to check if it's already made, you need to go to our local host, type in local host slash name of your project which is falcon dev this one enter and it says congratulations you're now flying with falcon great now falcon framework is great now we could do our first project having all the variables the core that we need and to check it we need to open the folder of the falcon dev don't have space anymore <laughs> HT docs now here's Falcon Dev and as you can see there's Falcon there's an app which contains the config files on our next video I'm going to create a simple crew using Falcon framework thank you for watching and I hope you could now use Falcon Dev Tools Master. Thank you. And I would appreciate if you comment or you ask something for help. Thank you.